Buenos dias, Luchi gang. Good morning. This is how we're starting our morning off at La Michacana. Getting some tacos. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Today's Thursday and it is the 3rd of December, okay? So Vlogmas Day 3 on deck, okay, coming through. But, <clears throat> Lucky leaves to his retreat today. So he's going to a um, Christian retreat. So he's gonna be gone for three days and today is his first day. He's gotta be there around four. So I decided since we're at Michoacana, I might as well do my little grocery shopping for the weekend while he's gone because I'm not trying to go to the grocery store by myself with all the kids and be hassling. Like I want to have stuff at home already. So let's go. Let's get a couple things so I can cook over the weekend. So let me tell y'all what happened at Michoacana. I'm grocery <laughs> shopping, you know, doing my little walk through the lane. Man, don't tell him that. <laughs> Lucky's like, we gotta go. We gotta go. And I'm like, what happened? And he's like, I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> so, I tried to go to the restroom at the Michigan. Somebody was in there, so it was locked. So I was like, I gotta go home. We gotta cut this grocery shopping short. <laughs> Let's go. So what happened was he ran inside the restroom to care his business, ate our tacos, and now I cleaned the kitchen a little bit. Denisha is uh take care of baby roll. Uh thank God for Denisha because um it's it's pretty cold out here still. Anyways, we're on our way to the barbershop, Clipper Boys, Clipper Boys Barbershop. Um, cause Lucky is going to get a haircut before he leaves. I know how you just narrate my life, baby. Thank you. Narrate my life for the camera. Go ahead, man. It's not just your life. She swears. She narrates my life narrator. Anyways, um, what do you just tell me on? I'm going to a retreat today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three-day church retreat. I don't know what to expect. They said they're going to be doing some hatchet throwing and canoeing and tug of war. No, they're not. <laughs> they did say that. Anyways, um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that was encouraging him in yesterday's uh, vlog, in the comments, letting him know that it's okay to go to the retreat, that a lot of y'all have been to one, and that it is amazing. I've been around Kelly and the kids every day for so long that I'm used to them that if I go away from them, I'm going to miss them getting on my nerves. Andale, that's what he Every day he's like, oh, oh my God, I'm stressed out. All I hear is kids all day. I need a getaway. <laughs> you know what God comes walking and My mom door? told me I'm looking stressed out. She told me my, she could see it on my face that I'm looking stressed out. And I'm, I, I told her I was going to a retreat. She said, good, you look like you, you're stressed out. And you're, you see it all over your face. Hey, I look bad out here, man. It's just, man, it's hard. And, and all my uh, people out there that got a house full of kids know how... Uh, you feel? Know how I feel and know how hard it could be to keep it, keep the house in order. You know what I'm saying? When you got a house full of kids and you're there all day and I don't leave to go drink with my homies or go to the bar or go kick it at bombshells and eat some wings with the homies and then come home. I don't do all that. So... Well, if you're there every day with your kids and your wife and you're taking care of working from home and doing all that, you know what I'm saying? It get, it does get stressful no matter what. Not only that, we have a blended family. Like, I feel like it'd be completely different if they were all our kids. Like, you know, we raised them from babies. Like, they would already know what it is. And But it's harder because we're a blended family. And sometimes, you know, you want to be, like, a little easier. And it's, it's just hard. But... Yeah, Lucky is going to this retreat. I'm so excited because I'm pretty sure he's going to come back renewed, refreshed. Rejuvenated. And, yes. That's rejuvenated. what I need, man. I need to get rejuvenated. Um, yeah. Pulling up to the barbershop. <laughs> Vlogmas day three. Houston, where we at? Where we at? Oh, you can't talk now? You forgot how to talk? Camera show. 
at the barbershop. What's the name of this haircut? The Tequache Cut Cut. That Tequache Cut. Yeah, mom. <laughs> I'm dead. Lucky was for real about this mullet. Uh, Y'all thought I was playing. I ain't playing no games, man. <laughs> Tequache Cut. <laughs> Boy, Mama Luna, cuz. <laughs> yeah, Ace got Lucky doing the most now. Look at him. I'm gonna grow this out and I'm gonna dye it blonde. They watch it blondie, cuz. They're gonna do a silver in the back. It's gonna be platinum status. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Platinum status. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Uh, doing the most. What do y'all think? Rate Lucky's haircut down in the comments. One through five. One being. I Bad. never thought in 2020, all in 2020, I'd have blonde hair and a mullet. All in 2020. I never would have thought. Y'all want to see a funny picture? I give it a four look, and a half. Ace, Ace pulled out the 2003 Lucky Lou. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now look. imagine if he had to watch it in the back. Hey, why did they go let me... Do Man, somebody at Dope House need to get fired for letting me go out like that. They should have... I didn't even have no edge up, no mustache <laughs> trim. I was just looking bad out there in 2003. Why they let me do that, man? You're and funny. You are on the way for the come up. That's why, man. 2003, man. Sorry, we're going to have that little silver coming soon. The little silver coming soon. The platinum status cup. He's going to have silver back here. When it gets long and it's and it's curly, he's going to have the platinum status. That's going to be like the skunk and the pepper and the pew cut. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm done. Well, give us a couple months. You'll see. He's ready to go be sent off to his retreat. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm gonna get it over with. You like Daddy's haircut? You like his haircut? It's nice. All right, bye, Ace. Hey, y'all be good, man. Bye, Mike. Y'all boys better get up on this money, man. I'm telling you, money train is get. Come on, man. Look in this trench coat. Cold out there. I ain't had had a chance to wear my trench coat all year because it ain't been cold enough. It finally got cold enough I could wear. I really bought it for Thanksgiving, but it wasn't even cold enough on Thanksgiving. I couldn't pull it out. I like your haircut. Thank you, man. All right, y'all, so we about to pull up to Academy. Well, we just pulled up to Academy, so I can get some last minute camping utensils. You know what I'm saying? I need to give me some snacks, man. I'm just needing me and some chips and some drinks. And some... You can take snacks, babe. I can? Yes. All right, man. So we gonna, I'm going to go in there and see what they got. I ain't been camping in a long time, but I need to go, take, go, go run up in Academy and get some good. I was trying not to show them. <laughs> They're my snow boots, man. I bought them when I was in Colorado. Kelly hates when I wear them. Do you know what that? Yeah, this one is like so big. Thank you so much. Okay, we gotta walk, Dada. Come on. You want a spider man? I'm <sighs> You guys. I'm starving. I haven't ate other than them tacos, and I'm just like. Feeling wow. a little weak. Spider Man umbrella. I had to get some labs done, so that's what we did in between time. Got my blood taken and all that. Um, basically, like a physical. But we're in here, we're in Academy. So we're looking for the outdoor living section, correct? Let's go. You need some of these, babe. Oh, 
I love how he like walked in here like if he's really gonna go hunting. Alright, we made it out of there. I got me a chair. So I ain't gonna be sitting on the ground out there, man. I, I had to get me a chair. Got me an old trusty fold up chair. I got me a bunch of snacks. Uh, a beanie, some poker cards. I think I'll be all right. Got lucky over here in the travel section, so he'd get right. We got him some uh, toothpaste, some body wash, some uh, Q tips. Q tips. Um, take some hand sanitizer, hon. There you go. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's I can't believe you're leaving. Oh, it's real now, man. My phone died. What? Phone Your phone died? You already got your things there. No, I got a mask. It's okay. I'm going in the woods. So this is what I got from Academy. Got me a nice Adidas hoodie, some a beanie to keep my head warm, some sweats, Nike sweats, some bean dip from HEB, some poker cards. I'm gonna be getting the most foods for their money. So, yeah, we're playing <laughs> poker five dollars a round. A coffee mug, some water, more water, alkali water, some crackers. Toothpaste, Q-tips, soft and chewy granola bar, popcorn, jalapeno chips, bunions, head and shoulders shampoo, body wash, floss, and some good old hand sanitizer. I think I'm ready to go. Oh yeah, and I got a chair in the trunk. No! Man, hold up, man. I'm already like an hour outside of town, and Kelly just called me and said that I forgot my towels. I ain't got no shower towels, man. So hopefully they got a Walmart or something. I'm gonna have to go grab me some towels. Lucky has been texting me. He made it uh, safe and sound to the retreat he's been there he just ate dinner and i just got back from picking kingston up from basketball practice so so far so good it's been going um pretty smooth and chill over here in the lucha gang household um i'm just kicking back with baby row and i'm editing um and i'm just coming on here to end the vlog y'all make sure y'all stay true and stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog because i am planning on doing a lot of shopping and exciting and fun things with the kids so depending on the weather though but yes that's what's coming tomorrow um keep lucky in your prayers and wish me luck this weekend because it's just gonna be me and my kiddos